hard one. Okay? Now pay attention. Get your pencils up. It says, look, you live on 39th Street. Okay? You live on 39th Street. What Avenue? Okay? And 3rd Avenue. So 39th Street and 3rd Avenue. Everybody there right now? No. no. Everybody got your finger on it? No. 39th and 3rd, can you see a house? Okay, now I'll stick. Picture me standing there with a bubble tea. I'm on 39th Street and 3rd Avenue. Okay, it says, you are going to the movie theater with some friends. Okay, so we're going to go from here to the movie theater. Now, what movie are we going to watch? What's the new movie out? Uh, Alvin and the Chipmunk uh, Shipwreck. Okay, Alvin and the Chipmunk Shipwreck, that's what we're going to see. Watch no, I don't watch it. So, we're going to see Alvin and the Chipmunks and we're going to the movie theater. After you are going to eat at the cafe. So, after the movie theater, we're going to the cafe. Where is it? I don't see it. All right. Then it says, how far do you have to tra how, excuse me, how far do you have to walk? And what are the directions to each destination? So, from 39th Street to 3rd Avenue, right? To the movie theater, back to the cafe, how far do you have to walk? And then, what are the directions? Like if you had to tell somebody, you go north, east, then south, east, okay, break it down. Five blocks, you have to go northeast. You first go to uh, Third Avenue. So hold on a second. So it's how many blocks? Uh, so this whole trip four, is only four. This whole trip is five blocks. Four blocks. Four. four. I need a. What am I looking Just for? Just say five blocks. Four blocks. Highest. highest. What on the Mark Train test? What are they asking you for? Highest. Shortest. Uh, okay. okay, so four. four blocks. Good. Four blocks. And give me the directions. One. Me. Somebody help me out. Somebody different. Directions? You don't want to give me the directions? Who's going to give me the directions? You're going to get lost. <laughs> Alright, help me out. Give me some directions. Uh, am I going north or am I going south? Oh, first. So if I'm starting north, okay, hold on, north. Then where I'm going? Then east. Then I'm going east. Then north again. Then north again. And then east. And then east. Whoa. I'm going northeast, northeast. Does that make sense? Just go northeast twice. Just do it tw two times again. Wait, I don't know where the house is. 39th Street and 30, you can't see the house. Yeah, but is it between 39th, 39th and... Why do you live in that home? Why here's the map, right? Here's, here's the house right here. Right there. Everybody see? Yeah. Okay, no, I don't. Alright, it's a really small house. Is right. it not how, how come the house right at the corner? Because the cafe takes it's a cafe takes a corner one. house. Because the cafe, huh? because the cafe takes up one block, and the movie theater also takes up one block. Okay. So they both take up these two blocks, and there's only two streets of the cross. That's the same way it's how it's a block. Right. So what we say? What do you got, buddy? Shouldn't it be five blocks? Five blocks? Four. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is it five blocks or is it four blocks? Four. Four blocks is the shortest distance. Yes. Okay, we're not counting like crossing the street. Oh. We're not counting them. A block is a block. Okay, so it's four blocks now, but what about the directions? If I said to you, go once you're at your 39th Street and 3rd Avenue, go northeast and then go northeast again, is that sufficient? Actually, there's the northeast, northeast is correct, but you could also just do this other one. You can go east. Okay, hold on, hold on. I can go east. Then what? North. North? East, north. East, north. And then east. And then so north. I gotta go north again? Not sure. No. no. Sure. So east, north, east, right? I'm not sure. Just on 39th Street, I'll go all the way to the area and go out to movie there. So then what will be the direction? That's what I did. No. East, east and north, and that's it. And then you go east from here. Oh, you just make a little turn. Okay. You make a little turn. Okay, oh. so now, everybody take one, take one second. So, after doing 10 questions, we realize one thing. Number one, it's very important that you understand that when you do the Mark Twain test, you're guaranteed to see a map. Number two, you need to know your north, you need to know your south, you need to know your east and your west. Number three, what are we always looking for? The shortest or the longest distance? So the shortest and distance. And there's a really small turn, like from here, right here, Okay. to over here, count as a turn? Yeah, it could count as a turn, but what do we do? Oh, when it comes to this test, right? We don't want to get hung up on the details, okay? We're talking about the blocks. We're being objective. So okay? because the cafe is closer to this side, we just count it as a small turn? Exactly. Okay? okay. He headed east 
on Main Street, and then he headed west on Elm Street. He circled back around, and he ended up on 33rd and 5th. Okay? And then it'll say he headed north, south, east, and east, and west. Where is the burglar now? So you have to follow the map and stay on pace. Now what happens is, on the day of the test, right, what's your main concern? But couldn't you go to shorter time and take a shortcut? Say, if you want like this, like, the, the burning wrong would happen here. Right. East, like you went north, east, north, east, over, over, over there. Sir, couldn't you just, could the police officer right. just go this and then this? Well, yeah, but the idea is, think about the police officer. He's in pursuit, right? He's, he's getting the directions as he's on the radio. So it's, it's part of the sound. We have a call that says he, had, he headed this way north, he headed east, west, southeast, northeast, right? So you're following the same pattern, trying to catch up with the burglar. But you're right, if he had that news ahead of time, he would just cut through the middle and head him off, wouldn't he? Now, on the police officer test, they give you like 20 questions like this. And they get longer and longer and longer and longer. The idea with this test, when it comes to the map skills, it's designed to make your brain get tired. They're hoping that you get frustrated and you miss a step. But if you ever get confused, stop, take a deep breath, go back to the beginning, and make sure you follow the directions. Okay? On the test, they don't let you use a GPS. Okay? You're the GPS on the test. All right, now, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about some yeah, cool we, stuff. Can we take a phone and just, like, just use it on the No, you can't bring any phones to the <laughs> test. You know the rules. Now, what we're going to talk about is...